Hola! Welcome to the vocabulary builder for Victor's Adventures in Spain. Now, the idea of this particular series of videos and audios is to help you to build up your vocabulary, your Spanish vocabulary. Now, how, we go, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use a system that has been proven over and over again. And I can hold my hand up and say, I have used this system since, virtually since the beginning of learning Spanish. And it has served me tremendously. What is the system? The system is very, very simple. It has many names, but basically it's a system of linking something that you already know with something that you don't know. Okay, let me give you an example. When you meet somebody, okay, and, and they introduce to you and, and somebody gives you the name, what happens? Most times they'll say, oh, this is, uh, this is Bill, and you go, oh, hello, Bill, woo, the name, and then two minutes later you think, what was his name again? Now, the reason for that, the reason that that happens is that you do no processing of that name. You make no links. You just say, oh, that's Bill. Okay. But if you meet somebody and they say, this is Bill. Okay. And you think, hmm, Bill. Oh yeah, I, I've got a cousin called Bill. And instantly, just by making that link, you link the picture of your cousin with that person. And it's much easier to remember. Or imagine even more hilarious. Imagine there's a dollar bill hanging out of the mouth of the person called Bill. Okay? Or imagine that he's got a duck bill. Wah, 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 wah. Once you do that, then it's very, very, very difficult ever to forget that. Because every time you see that person, you're going to picture them with a big duck bill or a, or a dollar bill coming out of the, out the mouth. And so what, what the system does is it helps you to have a silly idea and understand it must be silly or it must be very colourful and very exaggerated or sometimes sexual. Okay? Um, I don't think I'm going to give you any sexual ones, but if mine don't work, think of a sexual one and you will remember it. It doesn't matter. It's all happening inside your head. What comes out of your mouth is the correct word. That's the most important thing. How you actually arrive there is your business. Okay? I'm going to give you lots of suggestions. Sometimes they'll work for you beautifully. Sometimes my own creative uh, imagery won't work for you. But you can do your own. And that's the beauty of this system. Once you understand how to use it, then you use your own strengths and the things that may mean a lot to you to remember. Okay, so we're starting in alphabetical order. Now there are many of these, okay? So we're just gonna keep them all down to 10 minutes because that's a nice bite-sized chunk for you to learn, okay? So there'll be lots of them, but just work your way through. Some tips of how to make this work for you. In the book, Victor's Adventures in Spain, all of this vocab is in the back, okay? With the Spanish word and with the English word. Now, what you do is this. Once you have listened to this audio or watched this video, then what you do is you go back to the book and then you'll cover with your hand or with a bit of paper, cover the Spanish words and just look at the English words and then remember what the Spanish words were. And then do it the other way around. Okay? So what you're doing is you're reversing. So you cover the English words and remember the Spanish, cover the Spanish words and remember the English. Now you only need to do that using this kind of mind link, this imagery link, you only need to do that two or three times and you'll have the word. At the beginning, you may just have the front end of the word and that's okay, that's fine, that's all you need, it's called the hook. You just need the hook into the word, once you have that, the word will come. Okay? so. Happy learning. I'll see you in the next video and the next audio. You'll hear me. And we'll start with the letter A. Ah. Hasta luego.